Reynolds, welcome back to TriSmile. It's uh, your third time here at the race. What keeps you coming back? Oh, first, uh, it's a perfect surrounding, perfect place here in, 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 in Pujerva. So really, you can enjoy every kilometer of the race. And then, I mean, it's the biggest and the best organized event here in Baltics. And it's always a pleasure to, to, to be here, to enjoy the atmosphere, the, the well-organized race and, and, and the people. I mean, um, almost all Latvians from our country that they train triathlon, they are here and uh, this is just a great event. You are always very, very happy being well treated here. It's perfect organization. Yeah. Well, the treatment, I guess, comes from the organization. Ein has been racing for many years himself. You started your career very, uh, not, not long ago. Um, did you ever get to race Ein? Yes, it was, I believe, 2011, uh, at that time, Tristar in uh, Worms, in Germany. Yes, we, we've been together on the, on the, on the track. <laughs> Who was faster? I was faster. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a, a businessman, you still are a businessman, but the business is on hold because you decided triathlon, it's a lifestyle that I love, I got a talent for that. Was it a, was it a tough decision? It was like uh, I started the business back in 2004 and, and then started to do triathlon in, in, in autumn of 2008. So, and then I got better and better every year and then I was already thinking 2011, 2012, let's say take another another level, try try to go professionally, try to compete with these guys at uh, which are always uh, looking like, uh, I don't know, gods of our sports. Eh? And then, yeah, it was last year after third place at uh, World Championships in Vegas, Ironman 70.3, then I decided, okay, let's give a shot, put the finances together, the budget, found some sponsors, and, 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 and uh, let's say this is the first year as a pro, and I'm really enjoying this. How much time do you still spend working as a businessman a month? Let's say a few hours a month, really, some phone calls, some, some, some general meetings, some, some strategic decisions, but not, not really real involved in the operative level, not anymore. You get to race internationally at all those nice places and so on, but what makes this place so special to come back? What's so nice about it? Yeah, you feel like home. It's like 200 kilometers away from home. You come here, you, you know the people, you know the organizers. They are always very friendly, very positive. It's just the whole atmosphere, the, the, the surroundings here. You feel very, very welcome here. And that's, uh, you race without any pressure. You, you enjoy the, 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 the people, the crowds here. So perfect, just a perfect race. Did you come by yourself or did you bring family? Oh, we came together with my wife, so she's taking photographs and she's, let's say, unofficial race uh, coverage uh, for me. <laughs> the unofficial race coverage. Hello there. <laughs> um, does she travel with you all the time or is it this just one of the places? No, no, I, I think... Uh I was only once alone to, to, to race, this was this year to Mallorca, but all the other races she's always with me and this is somehow uh, important for me to, to be at the finish line together with her and I know that there is always support and she's always thinking about me and when we decide, you know, longer races US or, 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 or some, some, some not so cheap races yeah. you have to put the travel budget together and so on I always say okay let's spend some some more euros but let's go together because this is very very important for me I, I, I feel sometimes when you have you know those low points during the race uh, one one of the positive uh, thing uh, things that keep me ra racing is that I know at the finish line I'm gonna get hug and kiss and this is what keeps me going so this is really the part of my my, my racing <laughs> that's the way to do the travels exactly. you know the, pr the course pretty well now what can athletes that start the first time here expect from the course um, hard bike course you you think okay Estonia the highest point is Munamed is 300 something meters or something like that but it's really rolling rolling hills up and down up and down all the time and it's a hard bike course really and after the hard bike course you get even harder run course I mean climbing that, that hill up and uh, when your legs are already most empty and then it's a uh, kilometer six or seven so I believe the first timers will enjoy the bike course and then we'll have a hard time on the on the run course but you you have to enjoy the surroundings you have to enjoy and be happy about the the finish line here it's amazing and it 
it seems that like it doesn't matter what the weather is before the race it it's always good you told me earlier you did one year where we had like 36 celsius this year we're looking at about 28 so there's always perfect race weather here at the race so perfect timing yeah it seems so that the, the first first weekend of august is always good here in estonia <laughs> Looks like the organizers have the control over the weather gods here. <laughs> but let's get down to business. How is the form and what are the expectations for uh, Sunday? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good actually. So the, the big goal for this year was to qualify for Kona, for Ironman. And then I did few Ironmans and few Ironman 70.3s. Unfortunately, I have to plan this for the next year again. So I didn't get that much points. I have a race Ironman race in Sweden in two weeks. So I'm coming now again of, uh, out of a uh, pretty hard training block. Well recovered during this week and I, I believe it will be a good good race. So I, my strength is on a, on, a, on a bike and I know this course very well. And I, this is, let's say, course which uh, suits me very well because I'm more like uh, going by, by strength with, with low cadence and uh, these uphills and downhills are very well suited for me. With the one kilometer swim, the 100 bike and the 10 run, it's sort of a different format. It's not the half distance or the long distance that we usually know. Is that like the perfect race here in a, for a late season preparation? It's a perfect race for uh, if your strength is a bike. And if you spend a lot of time on a bike and if you're a good bike rider, that's perfectly suits for you. And I believe this format is somehow welcoming for um, beginning athletes because what threatens most people is the swim. And here the swim is very short and also the run is relatively short and then you can enjoy the race really being strong on the bike and getting some time on your competitors on a bike. So this is a good race yeah, for, for mid-season or for the end of the season because I believe with our climate conditions you do more swimming and running during the winter and then at the beginning of season for many the bike is not the, the, the strongest part. So and uh, during the summer you can ride a bike a lot and then therefore this is a very good format yeah, for the end of the season. Let's say you win on Sunday. Will you still be coming back? Yeah, I believe so. Last year I was third. This year I I, I meant to win, and uh, this is a, as I said previously so many times. It's a perfect organization, and uh, this is the best race here in Baltics. And I believe as I feel like a home race here. And since this is a home race, you have to be here. You have to be for your sponsors, for your for your for your fans, and you have to be here to promote this race furthermore because. I believe everybody's goal as a local athlete is to have a good race locally because this is something that keeps uh, growing the sports, that keeps attracting the more and more, more people to the sport. And this is, I would say, my part of my job or part of my responsibility also to be here and to promote this race. Rinalds, thank you very much. Best of luck on Sunday and we're looking forward to having you back again and again. Thank you. Okay, it was my pleasure. Thanks. Thanks, guys.